Welcome and thank you for taking the time to join us for the Monday edition of BTW 21 News. I'm Luis Romero. A lot of news that we have to get to, so let's jump right into things. We start off with an update as a second suspect has been arrested in connection to the Summit View Drive murder. On October 23rd, around 7.30 a.m., Henry County deputies were called to an apartment on Summit View Drive for a well-being check. Upon arrival, the deputies said that they found 46-year-old Michael Hairston dead inside his apartment. The investigation determined that Hairston arrived home on October 21st, shortly after 5 p.m. and around two hours later, two people appeared to go inside the apartment. According to Sheriff Wayne Davis, several minutes later, both people are seen running from the apartment on a neighbor's doorbell camera. The chief medical examiner's office determined the cause of death to be a gunshot wound to the head. Sheriff Davis said a 2008 Audi was captured on video leaving the area after the murder happened. The Roanoke Police Department located the Audi and driver Angelina Spade, and she was arrested and charged on October 31st. The other suspect, 44-year-old Lewis Webb of Ferrum, was charged with first-degree murder, used of a firearm in the commission of a felony, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Webb is believed to be the one who shot Hairston, according to Davis. He is being held in the New River Valley Regional Jail without bond on an unrelated charge. In Henry County, Luis Romero, BTW 21. As we get closer to Election Day, we know that a Henry County Commissioner of the Revenue candidate has revised a NAD after a complaint was filed by one of her opponents. The Virginia Department of Elections confirmed to BTW 21 News that a formal complaint was filed against Adrian Boyer by one of her opponents, Melissa Zayer. Boyer, Zayer, Tiffany Hairston, Blake Minter, and Dallas Hairston are vying for the commissioner post in the November 7th election. The complaint stated that the final part of Mrs. Boyer's online and televised commercial does not meet the Virginia Code 24.2957.1. In part, Zayer said it is concerning when any candidate fails to read and follow the law set forth by the state of Virginia in regard to their campaign. That is the basis for this complaint, nothing more. In a Friday night email, Boyer said that the ad had been corrected and that it would replace the existing ad. And I quote, the admission of my image was a simple oversight. This is a non-issue and obviously a feeble attempt to smear our campaign, Boyer wrote. Switching our tone in our newscast to talk about some good news here at home, Henry County's Career Academy has been awarded and recognized for using technology and hands-on all-in-one. The Career Academy of Henry County Public Schools has been named an Apple Distinguished School for the 2023-2026 program term. It's a testament to the hard work of the students and staff, uh, to our innovation, our vision, and our, and our, and our leadership in students and making sure that we allow them the opportunity to, to lead the next generations. Schools must have an established one-to-one -one program, innovative use of Apple platform, leadership and faculty proficiency with iPad or Mac, and continuous innovation leadership team to meet the qualifications according to Apple's website. Mr. Manor told us that we're one out of 400 schools, and it's like it's an honor to be accepted and an honor to be even like thought about because we're in like a very small town. The Apple Distinguished School Program is by invitation only for schools that meet the current program classifications, the website states. We take a lot of videos, we take a lot of pictures, so 90% of our use is technology, but we also have like that 10% where we do a lot of hands-on experiments with technology also. The application process took about six months. Only two other schools in Virginia were awarded the honor this year, and the Career Academy is one of only two career and technical education schools to ever be awarded. The Apple products allow us to use technology in a hands-on learning environment, and it gives our students a leg up. Uh, it allows them to learn the business world, to have great customer service, to work with the community, to make them more marketable, so that when, when they graduate and they leave us, they're prepared for the future. The distinction comes with Apple professional development for staff and leadership programs for the school division at no cost. This is the second national recognition the Academy has received. In Henry County, Luis Romero, BTW 21. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Of course, more to come after these messages. At Sova Family Medicine Martinsville, our providers, along with their compassionate team, are ready to provide your entire family, ages 2 and older, with preventative and sick care. There are many services provided, such as hypertension, acute illnesses and injuries, annual, school, and sport physicals, 
diabetes, and chronic medical conditions, and so much more. We are now accepting new patients. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sober Family Medicine of Martinsville is located at 110 Commonwealth Boulevard West, Martinsville, Virginia. You can call at 276-666-7328 or visit SoberPhysicians.com slash primary care for more information. I'm Sheriff Wayne Davis. My family and I have lived our entire lives right here in Henry County. And we spend our free time enjoying many activities in God's great outdoors. I'm a believer in hometown values, God, family, and country. For the last 23 years, I've worked at the Henry County Sheriff's Office and faithfully served the citizens of Henry County. As your sheriff, I vow to continue working hard every day to remove drug dealers and criminals from your streets to ensure this community is safe for you and your family. I will always be engaged with our local residents to understand your concerns and needs. And by working with members of this community, we will continue to keep Henry County a great place to live, work, and raise our families. I respectfully ask for your vote on November 7th. I'm Sheriff Wayne Davis, and this ad was paid for and authorized by D. Wayne Davis Jr. for Sheriff. Hello, I'm Michael Minner Jr. and I'm running for Henry County Treasurer. I'm fighting for a better Henry County. I'm not hiding behind others and not acting like someone I'm not. I support this community and I have spent 100% of funds on my campaign in Henry County with local businesses. My opponents can't say the same. I've invested and fundraised on local businesses and organizations that love this community. I appreciate every business and person that has supported me. I'm here with a new vision, a new voice, and a fresh start so that the future of Henry County is one our children and families can be proud of. Good's not good enough when better's an option. For a better Henry County, vote Mentor this November. This ad was paid for and authorized by Michael Minter Jr. for Henry County Treasurer. For the best local fun, food, and entertainment, come on down to Tequila Sports Bar and Grill. Bring your friends and family to bowl and listen to live music while enjoying yummy foods such as quesadillas, tacos, ribs, burgers, desserts, and so much more. Visit Tequila's 1051 Spruce Street, Martinsville. Hours Sunday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. to 12 a.m. 276-336-3727. New College Institute is a premier educational facility for students, businesses, and the community at large. Expand your career opportunities by getting certifications in advanced manufacturing, technology, healthcare industries, and much more. NCI now offers GWO certified training in one of the fastest growing industries, wind energy. You can also earn your degree from one of our partner Virginia universities, all while staying close to home. Get started today and let New College Institute help you achieve your goals. Do you like to learn how to rent your first apartment or buy your first home? Do you need help cleaning up your credit? At the Center for Housing Education, we're providing you with valuable resources and training to help you transition to your new housing lifestyle. Visit the Center for Housing Education at 51 East Street, Martinsville, Virginia. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Give us a call at 276 302-1656. All services are free. Cultivated new housing lifestyles. The Center for Housing Education. Looking at the radars for this week, it's looking like it's going to be quite nice and not that chilly as it was on last week, but we are expecting some showers on this weekend. However, until we get to there, let's look at this evening's forecast. 5 p.m. partly cloudy skies at 66 degrees, 8 p.m. partly cloudy at 54, and lastly at 11 p.m. still partly cloudy at 50 degrees on at 11 o'clock. And then sunset is going to be at 517 p.m. All right, let's go ahead and look at tonight's overnight forecast. We're going to see some clouds on tonight, very low chance of rain, and some southwest winds at only 3 miles per hour. Boonsmail at 52, Rocky Mountain at 51, 49 for Ferrum, 52 for Woolwine, Martinsville at 45, 
Ridgeway at 46, Stewart at 49, and Air at 49. So as you can see on your screen that we're finally out of those freezing temperatures for overnight as we were having on last week. So tonight's gonna be quite mild and nice. All right, let's go ahead and look at tomorrow, election day. It's gonna be mostly sunny, very low chance of rain. We're gonna have those west southwest winds at five to 10 miles per hour. Boone's Mill at 77, Rocky Mountain at 78, Farm at 77, Oak Level at 77, 75 for Woodwine, Martinsville at 78, 79 for Ridgeway, 76 for Stewart, and 76 for Ararat. All right, we can see just a little bit of clouds, but overall tomorrow is going to be quite nice. That's why tomorrow is a 10 out of 10, 78 for that high. 47 for that low. Like I said, it's going to be mainly sunny with a few passing clouds here and there on tomorrow. Sunrise is going to be at 6.49 a.m. All right, let's go ahead and look at our five-day forecast. Tomorrow, Election Day, don't forget to go out there and vote if you haven't already. It's going to be mostly sunny. Like I said, 78 for that high moving into tomorrow night. 47 degrees moving into Wednesday, sunny day at 77. Moving into Wednesday night, going to be a clear night at 47 as well as tomorrow night. Looking at Thursday, partly cloudy at 79, so almost reaching the 80s. Moving into Thursday night, still going to be partly cloudy at 53 degrees. Now looking at this weekend, that's when we're going to start seeing some rain coming in. On Friday, we're going to start off cloudy, but as the day go on, that chance for those Afternoon showers will increase, but only at 40%, 59 for that high. So we will drop in temperature about a lot, by a lot, 79 on Thursday, as you see, Friday, 59. So might need a jacket with you on Friday. And moving into Friday night, 60% for that rain and 40 for that low on Friday. And moving into Saturday, we're going to start off the day with some rain at 30%, but it will go to a cloudy day at 56 degrees. So however, enjoy this week. It's going to be a nice week and stay tuned for more BTW 21 news after this. My name is Blake Minter and I'm running for Commissioner of Revenue for Henry County. Our community made me who I am. It taught me the value of hard work, the strength of determination, and that we can achieve anything if we put our minds to it. I have worked for years in a position to give back to Henry County and if elected, I promise to do my very best to continue working for the benefit of our community. For several years, I have been a constant and hardworking presence in the assessor's office, a role I do not take lightly. I strive to find ways to improve and enhance the way our office works, and I am proud of the successes I've achieved in doing so. I've done that within our budgets and without any additional cost to taxpayers, making our county services better. I work with our county departments regularly because regular communication makes our county function better. We collaborate to benefit our community. That's how a successful county can operate best. I've worked my way into the assessor's office through effort and grit, and I want to continue serving our community however and whenever possible. And come this November 7th, I hope I can humbly ask for your vote paid for and authorized by Blake Mentor for Henry County Commissioner of the Revenue. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. Hi, my name is Dr. Kafer Zentmeyer here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. It's our goal to create wellness in all areas of life here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. We are a neurologically based, state-of-the-art facility in the beautiful Martinsville Henry County area. With our technique and our technology, we're able to get down to the root cause of any health concerns you may have and then correct them from inside out. We'd love for you to come by and check us out. We take care of personal injuries, car accidents, pregnant women, babies, and people of all ages. We love serving families through the principle of chiropractic care. So come on down to Zip My Chiropractic where we can help you remain in health as a lifestyle for a lifetime. So please come see us here at Zipmeyer Chiropractic. We are located here on the corner of Kings Mount Road and Virginia Avenue. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville, Virginia, and our phone number is 276-647-5555. 
For nearly 30 years, Drake Extrusion offers you the personalized service and flexibility of a custom supplier. With research and development based on two continents, Drake is on the cutting edge of polypropylene fiber technology. We work daily with polymer suppliers to improve existing products and meet the challenge of new end uses. We not only value our products, but we also value our employees. For more information, email us at info at drakeextrusion.com or give us a call at 276-632-0159. Hi, Barry Nelson, Nelson Ford Marshall, Action Corner. We got a 2011 Honda Pilot, third row seat, only $269 a month. Hey, and that's zero down. You want a deal today? We got a 12 model Buick Enclave, all wheel drive, third row, rear entertainment, leather. It's a Mac Daddy in its day, only $199 a month, zero down. Man, we just got something, a 2021 Ford Bronco, only 280 miles, only 280 miles, and you can get a real deal here at Nelson Ford. We've got a brand new 23 CX-30 with, and that's all wheel drive, zero down, only $397 a month, and it's a Mazda, come see us. We've got a 2017 Jeep Compass, zero down, man, this is a cheap payment. Only $249 a month here at Nelson Ford. And ask somebody about what fuzzy pickles means. Come see us at Nelson Ford. We've got cars, new, used, and really got some sporty used ones. Come see us where everybody knows cars cost less. Neighborhood Watch Associations. They're an effective tool in bringing the community and the sheriff's office closer together. Community involvement, it's essential for the sheriff's office and the community to build rapports and establish relationships. Active neighborhood watch associations establish an added layer of safety and security for the citizens of Henry County. You, the citizens of Henry County, become the eyes and ears of the Sheriff's Office. And remember, if you see something, say something. As Sheriff of Henry County, we will encourage every community to be a part of the Neighborhood Watch Association program. This ad was paid for and authorized by Dale Mills for Sheriff. As fall arrives, you think you don't have to worry about pests. Well, that's not the case. Ladybugs, stink bugs, and spiders will invade your home through any small opening. For your free quote, 540-339-6955, Terminex is here keeping your home pest free. Hey guys, this is Amy with Homes by Amy and Company, Keller Williams of Martinsville. We proudly serve Martinsville, Henry County, Patrick County, and surrounding areas. We enjoy helping purchasers find their dream home. We offer staging services to anyone who may need it, and we take pride in selling our listings quickly and getting our clients the most return for their investment. My team and I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for making us number one real estate firm locally. We are here for all of your real estate needs. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us for BTW 21 News. Your crumb report by Apex Bell Bonds is next. Jeremiah Gann of Ridgeway charged with probation violation felony. Veronica Hanna of Martinsville charged with disobedience resistance of an officer of the court. Jonathan Mahone of Martinsville charged with DWI first conviction blood alcohol level 0 .15 to 0 .20. Ronald Robinette of Martinsville charged with failure to appear in court for felony offense. Jose Sanchez of Collinsville, charged with prisoner court DLC, returned from DLC for court, and simple assault against family member. 
Justina Spencer of Ridgeway charged with simple assault. William Sadler of Reesville, North Carolina charged with intoxication in public. Denaro Turner charged with probation violation felony and probation violation misdemeanor. Hi, I'm Stephen Edwards and I'm the owner of Riverside Tire Service. At Riverside Tire Service, we have been a staple in this community for over 40 years as your premier Michelin tire dealer. Now with that relationship with Michelin for over 40 years, we can pass on savings to you that no one else can compare to. We have over $50,000 worth of Michelins in stock ready to fit your vehicle. If we don't have it, we also receive two deliveries a day so we can get you rolling in a timely manner. You know where to get them big old tars and lift kits? Where's that? Down there at that PVT. Really? They got big tars, they got small tars, they even got medium-sized tars. And they got the best prices too. PVT Express, 608 Stoltz Road in Martinsville. Simone Red, President and CEO of Martinsville First Savings Bank. I've been here since August of 2022. We are a mutually owned bank here in Martinsville. We've been here since 1924 and we like your business. We're a part of this community and we love our community. Martinsville First Savings Bank is located at 25 West Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia and our phone number is 276-638- Eight seven seven one. Welcome back. Let's take a look now at your Martinsville and Henry County obituaries. Donald Lee Workman, 68 of Bassett, passed away Friday, November the 3rd, 2023. A memorial service will be held Thursday, November the 9th at 11 a.m. at Bassett Funeral Service Chapel. Online condolences may be made by visiting BassettFuneralService.com. Bassett Funeral Service is serving the Workman family. William Earl Tudor, 86 of Collinsville, passed away November the 4th, 2023. A private celebration of Earl's life will be held with his interment at Roselawn Burial Park. Anyone wishing to pay their respects is welcome to visit Bassett Funeral Service November the 7th from 1 to 5 p.m. Bassett Funeral Service is serving the family. Robert Lee Rumley, 94, of Martinsville, transitioned from his earthly life Thursday, November the 2nd, 2023. A visitation service will be held Saturday, November the 11th at 11 a.m. until the time of the funeral service at 11.30 at Christian View Missionary Baptist Church in Spencer. A public viewing will be held Friday, November the 10th from 1 to 5 p.m. Betty Jean Turner Lemons, left her earthly residence at King's Grant and arrived at her heavenly home Sunday, November the 5th, 2023. The funeral will be Wednesday, November the 8th at 2 p.m. at Wright Funeral Service Chapel. Visitation will be one hour prior to that service. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Hi, I'm Pam Cobbler, and I'm running for the Reed Creek District Board of Supervisors in Henry County. I'm fifth generation in Reed Creek, and I'm a graduate of Henry County Public Schools. I have been very clear from the beginning of my campaign. I say no to reversion and no to solar farms. I'll fight for internet for all residents and all businesses. I'm strong in education. I support law enforcement, and I'm an advocate for veterans and individuals with disabilities. 
I believe small business is the foundation of a solid economy. Community involvement is important to me. As the voice of Reed Creek, I'm asking you to vote Pam Cobbler. Vote early or vote Tuesday, November the 7th. Paid for by Friends of Candidate Cobbler. Bassett Funeral Service was founded in 1996 by Daryl B. Martin and Paul T. Kennedy, Jr. We started as a small funeral home in Bassett, and in 2007, we went to one of the largest funeral homes in Martinsville and Henry County. We started with 3,200 square feet, and in as 2007, went to over 20,000. Bassett Funeral Service is located at 3665 Ferrystone Park Highway in the town of Bassett. 276-629-1770. Harbors. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing, 276-632-2580. Do you need a tractor and loader, backhoe, excavator, compact track loader, or implements? Well, Freel Equipment has it. Freel Equipment can deliver to Roanoke, Bedford, Franklin, Henry County, and surrounding areas. Freel Equipment offers services to contractors, homeowners, farmers, quality equipment at affordable pricing. So give Freel Equipment a call at 540-420-3475. A broken or cracked windshield can ruin a day. At Daniels Auto Glass, it's our goal to make that unfortunate scenario as painless as possible. We have been servicing Franklin County and the surrounding area since 1995. Our customers are our neighbors, and we want you to know that you have the choice who repairs or replaces your windshield. And if you can't come out to us, we can come out to you. We also offer window tinting, and we are fully equipped and certified to reset all camera systems in any windshield, both in shop and with our mobile unit. Greetings, I am Quentin Walton, Director of Fulton Walton Funeral Home and Cremation Service, LLC, licensed in North Carolina and Virginia. Our staff is committed to serve you continuously. Service for all within the means of all is our goal for the community. We have a professional staff qualified to serve you and your family to help you gain knowledge, especially in pre-need borough planning, insurance strategies to promote wealth for you and your family. Having 29 years of excellent service the establishment is now serving two locations, Fulton Walton Funeral Home and Cremation Service, LLC, 219 Dillard School Drive, Yanceyville, North Carolina, phone 336-694-4881, and Fulton Walton Memorial Chapel, 417 Price Street, Eden, North Carolina, phone 336-627-3300, website www.fultonwaltonfuneralhome.com. Allow us the Fulton Walton Funeral Home staff to help you and your family in your time of bereavement. Are you looking for a fresh cut steak? Stop by the Sirloin House where we offer hand cut steaks daily. Enjoy our world famous sirloin tips or our chicken tips. We also offer fresh seafood and plate lunches that start at $7.99 for a meat and two. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336-623-7778 for all your carryout or catering needs. We are happy to announce our slate of candidates for this election. They are Wayne Davis, Henry County Sheriff, Valeria Clark Edwards, Henry County School Board Horse Pasture District, Tiffany Renee Hurston, Henry County Commissioner of Revenue, Michael Minter Jr., Henry County treasurer. Remember, your vote counts. This message has been brought to you and paid for by the Martinsville Henry County Voters League. As always, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you very much for spending part of your day with us. We'll see you tomorrow for our election coverage night starting at 5 p.m. Have a good evening, everyone.